Hello everybody and welcome back. So since my first math video is now at almost 800 views and so many of you have been commenting on it, liking it and basically just talking to me about your worries um, and just expressing to me how you feel about maths. And I'm absolutely loving it. I'm being very overwhelmed with all of it. And I'm just enjoying it so much. So I thought to help you guys again and basically show you the revision that it's kind of for some of you that are retaking, really but it could also help those that are doing, starting to do their GCSEs. So I'm going to kind of show you guys how you can re do your revision. Kind of revi It's kind of like a revise with me maths, basically. Okay, so basically my boyfriend has to retake maths as he didn't pass what's totally fine. Like there's nothing wrong with retaking, you should not be ashamed of it at all. He's not, so that's why I'm doing this. But I'm going to show you. He's now asked to revise with me. During the GCSE period, he tried to revise with me, but it just wasn't working for him as he's not on the same level as me as revision-wise. I can sit there for hours revise. He has to do it in like 10 minute slots, not even that five minutes. He can't concentrate for so long. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how to revise with me, but without my boyfriend being here but that's fine so this is his maths revision folder that i created for him i created it for him um, it has a mini folder as i i call it a mini folder it probably isn't a mini folder but compared to my media one it's quite big <laughs> so inside as soon as we open up we i put this in for him Basically, so here's some revision tips for when he's revising for himself. It literally just says use Hecate Maths, the Corbett revision cards and do past papers. That's basically what it says for him if he's ever stuck on and he doesn't know what to do. But I've also put here an improvement chart. So I called it the improvement chart because hopefully doing this revision should help. But I know seeing your progress makes it all feel, feel better when you see that you are improving. Whereas if you just saw it and you were like, oh great, I got a three but I didn't pass, but you've gone from a one to a three, it will look so much better. So hopefully over time, he might start off getting grade ones and then slowly start to improve. And as you go down, you should see your improvement. So that's what I kind of wanted it to be. So he can, he's able to see that, Joe, you know what, this revision's actually working and it's not useless. And I think that's quite cool. It literally just says the date that he took the exam, the grade he got off of it, the marks, and how he felt towards the exam. So you can put like a smiley face, sad face, or like whatever. It's just there to help you, just to show you that, do you know what? I am improving. But yeah, our first little fold of it is revision. We haven't started revising yet, just as we're trying to get back his grades and see how well it is. But yeah, we're in here he's got some revision cards. One of his favourite colours is blue. And he supports Chelsea, you know, just trying to give links to him. Um, I've also got squared paper, you know, and then I've also printed off past papers that we're going to sit through and do. In the back, this is what I was talking to you in the maths video about, the Hegarty maths um, thing. So this is all the Hegarty maths tasks that we're going to get through. So each time we revise, we're going to get through one of the sections and try and understand it as much as we can. But yeah, that's what's in his folder, basically. I have these books that I use, because it says here, Caitlin Harness Revision Guide, 11 r one Foundation. But basically, they're just, it, it has a DVD in it, but I don't know, I didn't really use this in my exams. I kind of just had it there for questions. But I'm going to use this for what we like to call start questions. So it gets him thinking and stuff like that and kind of just testing his knowledge in general. I then also brought a revision guide. So just talking is ba This is a really good one, by the way, just letting you know. Um, and it basically teaches you stuff in basic form. So if you're you don't understand things very well. It kind of goes step by step on how to do stuff. And then also gives you questions at the end for you to try. So I really like this. They do it in loads of subjects. So yeah, I use that. And also a higher, I bought a higher on purpose, um, workbook. Because I know if I can do higher questions, 
I should be able to do foundation questions. And I have a little tray full of all the Corbett Maths revision cards. So I put them in order and I'm going to show you guys how to use these revision cards basically. Because um, I know quite a lot of you have bought them from the last video and I'm actually kind of shocked that you guys kind of did take my advice and get in them. And I know they cost, I think it was £10 you guys have to pay, but they're 100% worth it after the end. I'm gonna try and find Okay, so welcome to my window sale. This is literally just my window sale. So when revising your GCSE maths cards, you might not be able to see. When revising the maths cards, what I like to do is, so this is obviously what everything is, you get given that. And then what you need to do is test yourself. So do I actually know about acute angles? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the subject, so type of angles and I watch if I need to I'll watch the video and then I'll answer the exam questions if I know if I got all the exam questions right or over I think it's like 85% I did I will put it back in and then take angle facts for instance I do that for the angle facts and get the answers and say that I got under 85% I will put them here and basically you'll start to gain a pile of that I know and that I don't know and then at the end take let me put this one back in so it's a, so then it's in order so take the this many I didn't know and this many I do know what I will do is put them like that and then I will get like a revision note here you go I'll get some lemsip dry day and night medicine and basically put it in the middle so if they do fall together I have a little thing and then I will test myself again on these. If I know all of them, I'll put them back. If I don't know all of them, I'll put them here. So basically it's just trying to separate them into ones that you do and don't know. And then I'll also keep going over these ones. So like I'll do one of these that I don't know and two of these that I do know. One, two of these that I don't know, one of these that I do know basically. So just altering between like so you can still feel confident in yourself that you know some stuff whereas if you just sit there day in day out doing these pile you're going to feel bad about yourself because you might not understand all of them but yeah and hopefully soon you'll look at the revision cards and you'll know the answers for all of them but make sure you take notes on the back there's notes here i really recommend 100 percent buy these i know some of you have please use them and literally they are a lifesaver like i just love them they're simple but they're effective so i hope this helped you guys i just thought to post another maths video as my last one done so well and you guys are all worrying about like you guys getting grade threes and stuff like that and you don't know how to push yourself up this is just literally going through the maths cards and just showing you like what my boyfriend's doing for revision basically as i don't need to retake maths maybe for a video i can do um taking a foundation paper and see how well i do like a few months after taking gcse's i don't know how i feel about that might fail it because i've just like lost all the knowledge because i don't need it after gcse's as soon as i done my maths paper i didn't need it anymore and got my results back I don't know why I kept hold of these GCSE revision cards, all my revision stuff. Like, I just kept hold of it, like, just for math stuff. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps someone. Bye. Make sure you to keep commenting down below. Any of your questions, contact me on any social media. Don't be scared. I've talked to some of you on my social media. It might take me a while to talk to you because if you talk to me on my Caitlin Hollis account it's private whereas if you go on my cc officials it's open so my dms will come straight through and i know quite a lot of you've been talking to me on my caitlin hollis account so you get automatically put into my requested and i don't normally look at my requested bit so try and talk to me on the cc official one so bye everyone